Okay, we have Gcam open, and what we're going to do is go to our settings and load a noise model. So you'll see the gear icon up at the top. You can touch it or pull down. Then select more settings. You'll see that at the lower right of this settings uh, pull down window. And then next, we're going to go to lens settings your first option. Now you have here all of your lenses. You have the main lens, which is ID zero, the telephoto lens, which is ID two. We have the wide angle lens, which is ID three. And we have the front lens, which is ID one. And we do not have a noise model for this. Let's select the main lens ID zero. So we select the main and this takes us to the settings for the main lens ID zero. Let's scroll down and you want to look for color management and then under color management, you will see noise model. You need to select since you're watching this video, we can assume you've never installed any noise model files. So yours is going to say system noise model. So what we need to do is import those noise model files that you've downloaded. So what you will do is you will select the import noise model option here. So now you need to open the folder where your noise models are stored. Mine is a folder named noise models. So I'll select that and we'll see all the noise models that I have. Now we are doing this for the ID zero lens down at the very bottom. You'll see the uh, file that I'm going to use. So I'm going to select that. Now, after selecting that, you can see that the noise model has been applied. If you'd like to look or change from the list, you can click and go in, but here is our file. So now we're going to go back, cancel, and then go back and we will go to the next lens. Let's go back one more. And let's go down to the telephoto lens, which is ID number two. And again, we need to scroll down to color management and then go to noise model. We will select the import noise model. We will go down to the noise model folder. And now I need to find the one that is underscore two. It's this one right here. I'll select it and you can see it is now applied. We're going to go back and back and we're going to now go to the wide lens. We're going to do the same thing. Scroll down, down to the color management, down to the noise model. We will select the import noise model. And this one is ID number three. And there is the underscore three noise file that we want. We'll select it. Okay, and now you can see the file is applied. Let's just go back and back and back. We're going to go all the way back out to the main. The camera will restart and it is now loaded into our current config.